The Minister of Transport, Joe Maswangani, today inspected the site where a pedestrian bridge collapsed on the N3 between the Gildanese and Galulis interchange. At least three people have been injured as a pedestrian bridge collapses on the N3 north of the Van Buren off-ramp in Johannesburg. During the inspection, the minister was accompanied by members of the Sunroll Board, Sunroll CEO and senior officials of the Gauteng Department of Roads and Transport and Egurleni Municipality. No fatalities were reported. However, three people were seriously injured, one had to be airlifted and two others were transported by ambulance. The three people who were seriously injured were trapped in a truck which unfortunately crashed into the bridge. A Mercedes-Benz was also lodged under the bridge but the occupants managed to escape unharmed. Meanwhile, the N3 Golden Ace interchange has been cleared and the route is now open for traffic. Uh, what is surprising is that uh, last year, Sanral did an inspection of this bridge and uh, we were told that the bridge was in a good condition and we have a certificate in that regard. However, what happened yesterday was shocking. We don't have all the facts as to what led to the collapse of the bridge. Of course, the bridge was decommissioned it was no longer used by pedestrian. We had closed it. It's a bridge that has been constructed somewhere around 1978. So we have appointed a team of experts, uh, geologists, as you know, that uh, this is a mining area, uh, engineers, and uh, also working closely with the Department of Labor to find out as to what might have been the cause of the collapse of the bridge. First of all, Sanral is um, quite saddened that there are fellow citizens of South Africa that were injured in this unfortunate accident that happened two days ago. Secondly, we're fortunate and happy that nobody passed away as a result of this accident. Thirdly, I think we're very committed to getting to the bottom of the cause of this accident because our bridge inspection last year reveals that the bridge was structurally sound. There was nothing that we found that would have caused the bridge to collapse on its own. So there must have been something that caused the bridge to collapse. Now we don't want to speculate, we want to get to the bottom of it so that we're able to apportion liability to the right party when we found out exactly what happened to the bridge. All traffic lanes are open on the N3 going past Galulis, uh, between uh, Geldenese has been opened, uh, that is where the bridge collapsed yesterday, so the obstruction was cleared by midnight and by 6 a.m. all the debris and all the bits and pieces were swept off the freeway and all the lanes are flowing right now as we speak. We are waiting on a report still from the engineers to confirm how and why the bridge had collapsed and, and until then we cannot make an announcement but what we can confirm is that Yes, the obstruction has been cleared and all the lanes are flowing in both directions. This is the second time where a pedestrian bridge collapses in two years. In October 2015, the temporary ship bridge structure across the M1 near the Grayson Drive off ramp collapsed. The bridge collapsed on two cars passing underneath. Two people were killed and 19 others injured as a result. About a few minutes ago, we had the transport minister, uh, Mr. Joe Maswangani, came, coming here rather to speak to the media, saying that they came to assess um, the damage that was caused. And also they wanted to applaud the team that worked overnight to ensure that this bridge is, I mean, the road is rather open this morning. And he also said that they wish a speedy recovery to those who were injured during this ordeal. Now, Central um, CEO, Mr. Skumbuzo Makozoma said they don't want to speculate as to what might have caused um, the collapse, but they, do not, they don't want to um, put aside the fact that there was a tremor that took place just a few minutes before the tremor and said that they have appointed a special team um, to do further investigations.